Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So, today's video, I wanted to share something with you that I've been doing a little bit of research on recently, and that is contour, face shape, and all that kind of stuff. So, throughout this video, I explain a few little things that I've learned that have completely changed the way I do my contour, and actually been a complete game changer in my makeup routine, and I feel like my makeup looks so much nicer now. Um, that I've learned all about my face shape. So if you would like to see how I did this makeup and also my new sort of contour tips, then please keep watching. Okay, so before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about face shape because after all, it sort of is all down to face shape, finding the perfect way to contour your face. So I thought I would start off and talk about this with no makeup on because it's easier to see my natural face shape, obviously, when I haven't got the makeup on. So I feel like the best way to do this is literally get yourself a hand mirror and sort of analyze your face. So I basically came to the conclusion after doing a little bit of research that I sort of have a mixture between a round and a diamond shaped face. So the reason why I've got a slightly more diamond than just round is because I've got quite a strong jawline that goes down into a point and I've got quite prominent cheekbones. I used a multitude of different things to work out my face shape. The first one that was little graphics like for example this one here which I'll put on the screen you can sort of pause it and have a little bit of a look and you know analyze your face shape. The other thing is I also downloaded an app <laughs> which is the app logo I'll put in here as well. I don't know if it was legit, but it did to be fair. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, every time I used it, it told me I had a different face shape, but they were all either round, oblong, oval, or diamond. So I suppose they're all in a similar sort of bracket, but a little bit different. So I don't know how legit that app was. But anyway, I was getting so excited about face shapes that I just basically tried anything. So once I pretty much determined my face shape, I then started to actually look for celebrities that had a similar face shape to me. Because I thought, obviously, they've all got these makeup artists that do their makeup on the regular and sort of show you how they're doing it. And it turned out that I actually have a similar face shape to Kim Kardashian, which I had no idea and didn't even think I would, but apparently. And so that is basically now the contour routine that I follow. Before I talk about a few other little things, I'm just gonna start off with, so I prepped my face before filming with the Ulla Henriksen, so this is the C-Brush Brightening Cream, which I just absolutely love for a base makeup. And then I'm just gonna apply some of the Dr. Jart, so this is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. If you've watched my videos before, you will understand my obsession with this, but I'm still using it and I'm still completely obsessed with it. The um, Ulla Henriksen moisturizer and this one on top, they kind of create a really nice moisturizing base. Um, so I just feel like my foundation goes on much nicer and my makeup sort of, I don't know, it just feels nicer on my face with these two. For foundation today, I'm using my favorite one. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Luminous Foundation and in shade 330W. I am actually obsessed with this foundation. I think it is so good. I use it all the time now. It's one of my absolute favorites. So I'm just gonna apply some to a brush. This is a blank canvas F22 brush. I'm just gonna start by buffing this into my face. So what I wanted to mention, and the reason why I think that changing the way I contour has massively changed the way that my makeup looks, and sort of the reason I wanted to film this video. So you know how we all have our favorite kind of makeup gurus that we follow, celebrities that we love the way they do their makeup, you know, we follow sort of different makeup artists and how they're doing makeup. And I don't know about you guys, but when I see someone doing makeup so nicely, I just copy exactly what they're doing because I think, oh, well that must work because look how amazing it looks when they're finished. And I think that's probably where I was getting it a little bit wrong because I was following um, tutorials of people who probably didn't have the same face shape as me because face shape is so personal and you know not everyone does have the same face shape so that's kind of why I wanted to put this bit in the beginning and just say I'm showing you guys obviously how I contour but I just want you to be sort of aware that maybe the way I'm doing it isn't 100% perfect for your, your face but I just really wanted to share the fact that I've sort of had this epiphany and realized that oh my god 
I've been contouring for the wrong face shape sort of the whole time. But I am, of course, going to show you my new contour routine, which if you do have a round or diamond or sort of oval shaped face, this should work really, really well for you. But if you don't, I mean, obviously, I'm honoured that you're here and you're watching this tutorial, but just maybe, you know, have a bit of a research, have a look on YouTube, find some other sort of people that have similar face shapes that maybe are doing contouring videos specifically for that face shape. Because I have honestly been sort of teaching myself about different face shapes and I think as a non, you know, as a non-makeup artist and someone who's never trained in makeup, um, it's just something that you don't really know unless you do a bit of research on. Now that my foundation is on, I'm going to move on to concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to be using the colour 27S and 20S. So I'm going to start off with the 27S, which is a slightly darker one. I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand. And then using a little concealer brush, I'm going to apply this under my eyes. So the reason that I put the concealer on first is I really like... Um, to let it set on the face. I feel like the shape tape actually works better if it sits on your face for a little bit before you blend it in. So with my concealer now, I'm using an angled brush. This is actually a Sigma Cut Crease E62 brush. But I love this because it has got an angle and I take the concealer up to my nose and slightly into the corner of my eye. So like that, so it's just a little bit higher up. This is basically just sort of, so I've got a bit more of an inner eye highlight um, and I just really like placing the concealer there I feel like it sort of helps when it comes to contouring my nose as well I also focus the majority of the concealer in the middle of my face rather than taking it too high up on my cheekbone and then I'm just going to take a little bit and put it under my nose here like that and then also some on my chin. Also, apologies if throughout this video you can hear roadworks and the next door neighbours are doing some sort of house stuff and it's all I can hear is drilling. And then I'm also just adding a little bit to the centre of my forehead, but literally just the centre. I'm not taking it up too high, just there. And then I'm also just going to take it down my nose, sort of just on the bridge of the nose. This is just sort of to conceal the nose a little bit more. So then I'm going to go in with the other colour of the Tarte Shape Tape. So this is 20S and this is a lot paler. So this I like to just add to the places where I want a little bit more brightness. This basically gets focused more sort of in the middle part, the centre of my face. This colour of concealer actually though, the photo that I found of um, Kim Kardashian's contour, which is what I'm pretty much going to follow. She used this really white colour all over and I actually did try it, but it just looked too contrasty for me. I didn't really like it. Um, so I kind of just use it in the middle rather than all over. I'll actually put this picture in here of the photo of Kim with the contour and sort of that's kind of the vibe that we're going for today and you'll see um, how far I take it down when I move on to the contour. I also just like to put a little bit of this lighter colour just in the centre. So that's the concealer on and I'm just going to leave that to sort of sink into the skin and then blend it out after I've done the contour. So moving on to contour and the bit that I'm assuming we're all here for. So for contour today of course I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in beautiful bronze. This is honestly just my favourite contour product. I absolutely love it. So to use this product I basically just put a little bit on the back of my hand. When I used to contour I would take the product, so I still do a little bit of a of a L up there, but I would probably take the the product to about there and I would draw some lines upwards and sort of blend it out. Now I'm not going to do that just because obviously it'll be a nightmare to sort of remove and then show you. But now I've realised that my sort of cheeks go all the way down to sort of here. So if I suck in you can see that there's like, a, it goes quite hollow in here. And that's actually what I want to emphasize because it really makes my face shape look nice. So now I take the contour product pretty much, and I know this might look a little bit crazy right now, pretty much down to about there, which to be completely honest seems crazy. Um, but once it's all blended, it looks so nice. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this other side. So I just like to make it a little bit fatter up here. That's just because I'm going to blend it upwards uh, before I move on to my forehead contour. But as you guys may know, if you've seen my videos before, that I like to blend the two separately because I don't want it to set too much and then it become a bit difficult to blend. 
So, I'm using a brush, this is the Spectrum A30 brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. So when I'm blending it out, I push the product upwards, sort of into the center of my cheek, and just blend it all out. But as I say, make sure that the product is being pushed upwards, don't bring it down, because that's not what you want. You want to sort of keep it in an upwards motion. So I know that looks crazy harsh right now, but I'm gonna do a few other steps and then once it's all blended in, it works really well. So I'm just gonna blend in this other side. So essentially, this is what we're left with at this point. So once that's a little bit blended in, I'm gonna just go back in with my contour product. I'm gonna do my forehead here. So I like to focus it basically sort of in a diagonal and just draw some lines on the side of my face. Kind of like this. This is just to kind of create the illusion of a slightly more narrow forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that in. And I'm going to sort of join the two sides up here. So it's sort of blending into the top of where we blended that cheekbone contour. I like to blend in with a brush first, especially the Spectrum one, because it's quite small. So you get a little bit more precision when it comes to blending out rather than just going sort of straight in with a beauty blender which is which could almost move the product sort of around your face. Okay, so next step after that is going back in with my concealer and that brush. I'm going to use the slightly darker Tarte shade and I'm going to draw along from basically there, so the corner of my mouth. And I'm going to take that outwards. Just a sort of like halfway, about there I'd say. And then I kind of just draw that down a little bit. Just to make it a little bit easier when I blend it out. And the same on the other side. So now that we're basically semi-blended, I'm now going to go back in. So this, I'm using the Beauty Blender that's got a bit of foundation on it. And I'm going to blend everything out. So the concealer and the contour, I'm going to go over everything. But I'm going to start with the concealer. So I'm going to start in the centre of my face. And I feel like with the Tarte concealer, when you leave it to set, it doesn't move as much. So when you go to blend it in, it actually stays exactly where you've put it on your face, rather than moving around too much. So I do both my cheeks first. So the concealer first, just before I sort of move on to the contour product, just to not mix the colours too much. Then I'm going to blend the rest of my face. I feel like when you do a contour like this, you can really see how amazing beauty blenders are because they just soften everything up and they just make it look so nice. So as you can see, now that's all blended out, it's no, it's like nowhere near as harsh as it looked like it was going to be, but it's really helped to sort of accentuate my cheekbones and bring in that sort of like dip into the bottom of my mouth here. So it just kind of gives my cheeks such a nice shape. So for my nose, I'm just using what was left on the back of my hand. So this is a really small fan brush and I'm just going to draw along. I basically kind of used the concealer that was there as a bit of a guide. And then when it comes to this bottom bit, just so I can make my nose look slightly more lifted, I'm going to sort of contour the entire end of it really. Almost like creating, sort of like if you were doing a dog face paint sort of nose. And then using a, so this is the Huda Beauty, this is actually the Eyes Build and Blend Brush, but I love this one for buffing out my nose contour. I'm just gonna buff that. And then when I am buffing it out, I do like to take it sort of into my eye, sort of eye socket underneath my the front of my eyebrow. And then just going back in with my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend down the centre and just along the sides as well, just to make sure it's all, all nice and blended. So I'm now going to move on to powder, which is my favourite part of makeup, because I just love matting up my skin, it's so fun. Um, okay, so the powder I'm currently obsessed with is this YSL Beauty. So this is their pink setting powder, this is number two, and as I say, it's got a pink tinge to it, which actually is so nice for under your eyes. So the sponge I'm going to use for this, this is a Dose of Colours one, it's got this really nice sort of pointed top to it, which is great for getting right into the corner of your eye. So I'm just going to go straight in with it. So I'm going to dab some onto my sponge. And I'm going to go along the side of my nose. And this is where the tip is so handy because you can get, as you can see, 
it gets right up into that corner of your eye and then you can also just drag it down the side of your nose which helps to sort of contour so I'm going to go like that and then I'm also just going to take some across my face and just set all of that concealer this powder I actually feel like is so matte it makes your skin look flawless it's such a nice powder I am actually completely obsessed with it to be honest I also used to um, sort of set before I bake, but now I feel like with this powder, because it's so nice and it's so sort of like lightweight on your skin in a way, you can just go straight in with the powder and leave it to bake without setting it first. And it doesn't leave your skin sort of feeling cakey or any of that kind of stuff, which is good. So while I leave that to set and bake, I'm going to go on to a different setting powder. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this is what I'm going to set the rest of my face with. Here you can sort of alternate between a sponge or a brush. But today I'm just going to use a brush. So for this I'm using the NYX Professional. So this is a, I think it's just a full, it's a number two brush, but it's basically just like their full face brush. And then I'm just going to set my face. When I set my cheeks though, I like to sort of, to sort of drag it along in a bit of a line before I take it up and set the contour just so that it sort of accentuates I mean it's translucent anyway so it doesn't add really any colour but I just feel like doing it sort of that way first works a bit better and so the last powder that I'm going to use is the Laura Mercier translucent powder but in medium deep so this is amazing for accentuating the contour and warming up your face I actually think this is one of the best things that's come out of lockdown I was watching so many different makeup artists um, Instagram videos and all that kind of stuff and they're all raved about this medium deep powder and it's just so good I would never have thought to buy um, a, like a face powder in a darker colour as a bronzer but um, yeah it's all the wonders of social media and what it teaches you so with this I'm just gonna follow along the contour sort of line I feel like with this one as well because it's not actually a bronzer and it is a powder it's a lot softer than going sort of straight in with a bronzer because it blends out really nicely so it allows you to kind of accentuate that contour without it kind of I don't know getting really heavy if that makes sense And then I'm also just going to go along the bottom of my jaw. And then the last step for powder is I'm just going to get one of these sort of triangle sponges and I'm just going to draw a line. Sort of similar to that concealer line that I did. Um, this I just sort of do and then I buff it out almost straight away. I don't really know why I do this but I feel like it does make a little bit of a difference. I always see Kylie Jenner leave her powder here so it must do something. Again though, I do feel like it just really helps to accentuate that slight, like, sort of hollow cheek look. Um, yeah, and then I pretty much just buff that out straight away. Because I don't want it to be too harsh. So, the under eyes are probably set enough, so I'm just going to brush them away. But I'm going to leave my nose sort of a little bit longer, just to really kind of keep it looking nice and snatched and contoured. Then using what's ever left on this brush, I just like to go down the center of my nose just to set that and wipe it over my eyelids as well. The next step is a little bit of bronzer. So I'm gonna use the MAC Give Me Some Bronzer for this. And then I'm using a Spectrum A04 brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit to that bottom part. So this is where I, I don't know, I feel like I would have never put the bronzer all the way down there because I was worried that it would maybe sort of like bring my face down almost. But yeah, it just works really well. And then I lift up slightly into the apple of my cheek, but not too much. And I'm also just gonna add a little bit to the side of my face, basically just exactly where I put the contour. And then using what's ever left on that brush, I just like to take the bronzer sort of here. This I feel like helps to sort of just join it all up. I'm not going to do an eyeshadow look um, today. I'm just going to focus on like the skin. So this is just kind of a nice way to sort of bring it all together. And then to finish off the cheeks, I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. So this is the very graceful KKW Beauty Blush. This is a really nice blush. It's not too pink, but yeah, it's just a really nice colour. Um, I'm going to, basically I like to apply this on a slight angle and follow the contour keep it sort of going upwards like that again see this is the other difference i used to put the blusher all the way up sort of like really onto the apple of my cheek which i just feel like it didn't work for my face shape it almost kind of made my cheeks look a little bit like hamstery they looked sort of a bit round um, whereas this one sort of helps to 
accentuate the cheekbones and just give you more of like a lifted look I suppose. So now that's done I'm just gonna get rid of the powder on the side of my nose. I don't like to sort of swipe this away as such that I'm sort of pushing it into my skin just to keep that contour um, against the nose. So that is the main contour and skin makeup done. I'm just going to go fill my eyebrows in. For my eyebrows, I'm using, of course, the Precisely My Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade 3. And then to set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I honestly just love the texture that this brow setter gives your eyebrows. It just instantly makes them look so much fuller. So I've just added some lashes on. These are the Isla and the Plastic Boys collaboration. So these are bad and bougie ones. I'm absolutely obsessed with these at the moment. They are ones I wear all the time. So I'm going to set my face now. I actually am using a mixture of setting sprays at the moment. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And then I like to add over the top of that the Fenty What It Do spray. Don't ask me why, I just really like them together, I think it works quite well. So then for highlighter, I like to add this as the setting spray is setting, just so my face is a little bit damp when I put it on. So I'm going to use the Illamasqua, so this is the OMG highlighter, and I'm going to start off by applying it using a blank canvas sort of pencil brush. So I'm going to apply a bit to my brow bone, and also to the centre of my nose, and then to the tip but a little bit higher up than the tip just so it sort of lifts the nose rather than brings it down and then also of course inner corner highlight but I like to take it a little bit higher up normal I just feel like it helps to sort of like pinch the sort of eye area in makes it appear slightly slimmer and then swapping over to the Sephora Pro highlight brush I'm just going to add a little bit to the top of my eyebrow and then just a tiny little bit. I'm doing pressing quite lightly here, just at the top of my cheekbone. I don't want too much of a highlight, just a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a glow. And then I'm just going to go back in with that Fenty Beauty What It Do setting spray, just to kind of set the highlighter. And then lastly, I'm going to do lips. So I've actually gone back to my OG lip combo from years ago, which I'm wearing all the time at the moment. So this is the MAC Strip Down Liner and MAC Make Lipstick. So I actually like to put the strip down liner pretty much all over. I'm just buffing it out with my finger here. It's actually such a nice colour on its own. And then going in with some MAC Myth, just sort of in the middle. And then blend that out. I kind of go a bit back and forward here between the lip liner and the blending. And then the final step is I'm just going to add a little bit of the Benefit Roller Lash onto my bottom lashes. And so there we have it guys, there is a little updated makeup contour routine. This is pretty much what I do every day, it's a slightly glamour version than a full on everyday makeup. But this is 100% the new way that I contour my face and I hope you guys will agree, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, it really sort of helps to accentuate my face shape and I just really love the way it looks. So I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful. As I said, I know that some of you might not have the same face shape as me, but just have a little bit of research, look around, find celebrities or other makeup artists that have similar face shapes to you, and I'm hoping that you'll also have a moment like me and think, wow, my makeup actually looks so much better now I understand exactly how and where to contour. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, I will link all the products that I used in this video below and put all the shade names and all that kind of stuff next to it. Give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.